My name is Randy, welcome to class today. We're gonna do a quicker vinyasa flow today. A lot of forward folds, opening up the back line of the legs and some compression work and some opportunities for handstands at the end. So let's start today in child's pose. Hands underneath your shoulders and then sink your hips back to your feet. Walk your hands forward. You can even come up to the tip, tips of your fingers as you sink your chest. Legs can be spread apart at the knees or you can have them close together too. Just breathe. Take this moment to get centered on your mat. To be here in this moment, in this space and disconnect from whatever you were doing before. Good. If you're on your um, fingertips, place the palms of your hand onto the floor, and we're just gonna roll into a cat to cow position, like coming in and out of child's pose. So you're gonna tuck your tailbone as you push forward your shoulders above your hands, and then lift your tailbone, vertebrae by vertebrae, sink back to your heels again and then tuck your tailbone as you come forward last to puff up is the heart and then lift the tailbone and the last to sink down to the floor will be your chest roll forward puff up vertebrae by vertebrae and then slink back lifting your tailbone to the sky. The next time you come forward, I want you to keep your shoulders above your wrists, parallel your shin bones. Now just some more traditional cat cows. Tailbone up to the sky, lift your head, pull your chest through your arms. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, draw your navel into your spine, puff up, through the back of the heart and let your head hang. Good. Tailbone up to the sky. Mm. Dome the back. Do what feels good in your body if you want to do some barrel rolls. Move into your side body a little bit. Flip your toes, push your hips back into down dog. Pedal out your feet, walk your dog. Good, now come up onto the balls of your feet, press into the heels of your hands and sink your knees until they're about an inch off the floor and sink your hips back towards your feet. So you're in this hovering down dog, like a, almost like a pounce position. And then you're gonna push yourself forward as you come onto the right hand and lift the left hand up towards the sky, pivoting on the feet so you're in this side plank. Left foot is in front of your right. So your feet are not stacked here. Left hand comes back to the ground, push back into our hovering, we'll call it a hovering child's pose, and then pounce forward and pivot onto the left hand as you lift your right hand up to the sky. Right hand back down, hovering child's, plank on the right side. Left hand down, hovering child's, Push forward, plank on the left. Good. Right hand down, push back to child's. We're getting the hang of it now. Side plank on the right. Left hand down, push back to hovering child's. Side plank on the left. Two more. Right hand down, child's hovering. Side plank on the right. Left hand down, push back. Side plank on the left. Good. Okay, regular down dog. <clears throat> Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Bend 
bend generously at the knees, hang your head, first forward fold here. I like to shake out my head side to side, sway at my hips. Mm. Sink your hips to your heels so you're in malasana. You can grab the toes if you'd like, if that's accessible. And then lift your hips to the sky, forward fold. We're gonna floss in a few of these here. Sink your hips down and then forward fold. If your hips don't come all the way to your heels, that's fine. Go to wherever your edge is in that squat. Sink your hips and forward fold. Sink your hips and forward fold. One more time. Sink your hips. Forward fold. Again, shake your head out, yes and no. Mm, you can clasp your hands behind your back if you'd like. Take that bind. Mm. Hands back to the floor, walk them forward. Bend into the knees, come up onto the balls of your feet, jump, step, hop to the front of the mat. Good. Squat position, so sink your hips. Lift your hands forward, sink your hips back. Good. Stand, Tadasana. Lift your hands up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, pour weight into your right foot. Lift the left knee in towards the chest and then circle it back behind the right leg and pull your left arm gently with your right towards the right side of the room. Get this nice side stretch. <sighs> Come back through center. Lift the right leg into the chest. Circle it back around the left. Grab onto the right wrist and gently pull your wrist towards the left side of the room. Arc your side body, feel that stretch in your right, your right side. Come back through center. Stretch your arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, release it and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms onto the floor, jump, step, hop into your chaturanga. Up dog, and down dog. Sweep your right leg up to the sky. Oh, keep it lifted, keep it lifted. We're just gonna sit here for a sec. Oh. Right knee into chest, and then plant your right foot to the front of the mat. Open up into warrior two right away. Lift your arms out towards the side of the room. Inhale. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. And then dip your chest to the inside of your right leg. Humble warrior. See if you can reach those arms up over your head. Draw the right hip into the midline. Don't let it stick out. It likes to do that. Good. Inhale brings us back up through warrior two. Bend into the left leg, skandasana, but keep your hip coming as slow as you can, as controlled as you can until your booty is on the floor. Left knee folds in to the inside of the right leg. So your left, you like this. Your left foot is on the outside of your left hip. Good. And fold forward. <sighs> Just breathe here. Lengthen through your spine and on your exhale, see if you can get a little deeper. 
Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, see if you can fold a little deeper. Lift back up through center, hands on either side of your right leg, and we're gonna pulse your right leg up. Keep your sit bones long, keep your spine as long as you can. Try not to round back and lift your right heel as high as you can. And then down, up, down, and just pulse it. Two, three, four, five, six. We're going to 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, if you feel a little crampy right here, me too, feeling that, okay. Open your left hip back up. We're coming back into our skandasana, so use some momentum to rock back into your skandasana in the left leg. Come on forward, lizard lunge. Hands on the inside of your right leg. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot. You know your options here. If you wanna go down onto your forearms, feel free. If you want to drop the back, back leg, that's an option as well. Straighten your front leg, bow over. Pull back into lizard lunge. Straighten the front leg. This time, hands on the inside of that right foot. Now let's see if we can just suck our <laughs> right leg into our hip socket and lift our foot just an inch. Ready? So you're gonna pour weight into your hands and then <sighs> Good. <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna lift it and then bring it back into down dog. One, two, three, we lift. <sighs> and down dog. If that didn't go perfectly, that's fine. All right, sweep your left leg up towards the sky. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Energize your lifted leg. Squeeze the left glute. Press into, the, into your um, heels of your hands. Bring the right left knee into the chest. Roll on forward. Left foot to the top of the mat. Open up, spin it open, warrior two. Bend into the left leg. Inhale. Good. One more inhale. Exhale. Clasp your hands behind your back. Bow your chest to the inside of the left thigh. Swing your left hip in towards the midline. Reach your hands up overhead and just let your head relax if you can. Ooh, I like to shake mine out. Sometimes that encourages it to just let go. One more inhale. On your exhale, spin it open, warrior two. Straighten the right leg, bend into the right. Sink your hips low with control until your bum hits the floor. Right knee folds in to the left thigh. Walk your hands forward, forward fold. Inhale, grows our spine nice and long. Exhale, folds us forward. Inhale, we get long. Curl your toes up towards your face. Exhale, we see if we can get a little deeper. Walk your hands back, fingertips around each side of the leg, and we're gonna do the same thing. Keep your spine long, try to avoid rounding, and lift your left heel up off the ground as high as you can, and then we're gonna pulse it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good. Open the right leg back up. Use a little momentum to rock yourself forward, back, 
Indha Skandasana. Sweep forward to the front of the mat. Hands on the inside of the left foot. Pivot the back leg. Lizard lunge. Here we are. <sighs> Flossing through our hips. I like to rock forward and backward here. Just encouraging everything to open up. Inhale. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Bow over your front leg. Take a moment and just breathe into the back line of your left leg. High up on the ball of that back foot. Pull back into lizard. Breathe. Push into your triangle pose here. Modified triangle. Hands on the inside of the left foot. See if you can lift your left leg and suck it into the socket of that left hip. Ready? One, two, three. Lift Ugh! and set it down. Really good. All right. Now we're gonna do that again. This time our left foot's gonna meet our right. Ready? One, two, three, lift and sweep it back. Awesome. On the come up onto the balls of your feet, jump step, hop to the front of the mat. Forward or um, halfway up, and then forward fold. Lift. Up into our standing pose, inhale, arms reach towards the sky, exhale, forward fold. We're gonna do the same thing a little quicker this time. Halfway lift, jump step, hop into your chaturanga, up dog, Ooh. and down dog. Lift your right leg towards the ceiling or sky, suck it in towards the chest, plant the right foot at the front of the mat, open up, Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, clasp the hands behind your back, bow on the inside of the right leg. Right hip pulls into midline. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Keep going, skandasana into the left leg, slow with control, sink your hips to the floor, left knee pivots in. Inhale, forward fold over your left or right leg. Come back through center, hands on either side of that right leg, 10 pulses. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Whew, that so adds, you guys. <laughs> Open the left leg back up, use some momentum to rock forward, press into the front, or the left leg, lizard lunge in the right leg. Inhale, exhale, hips up and back. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, exhale hips up and back. Hands on the inside of the right foot. Suck your right foot into the socket and sweep back to meet the left. Beautiful, sweep your left leg up to the sky, knee into chest, left foot meets left hand, open up, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back, bow your chest on the inside of your left leg. Left hip comes into midline, inhale. Exhale, spins us open into warrior two. Keep going, keep going, keep going, sink your hip into skandasana. With control, sink your booty to the floor. Right knee pivots in. Inhale, grows us long. Exhale, fold over your front left leg. Inhale, exhale, come on back up. We're gonna pulse that left leg 10 times. Give me 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Set it down. Open up the right leg. Momentum pulls us into our skandasana. 
like a wave, sweep to the front of the mat, hands on the inside of the left foot, lizard lunge, here we go. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg and fold. Pour weight into your hands. Suck your left foot into the left um, hip socket. And push it back. Down dog. Inhale. Take a deep breath in. Come up onto the ball of your feet. Bend the knees. Jump, step, hop. To the front of the mat. Inhale, forward fold, or halfway lift. And then forward fold. Shake out that head. Good. Hands come to the floor. We're gonna do some dolphin to chaturanga transitions here. So bring your forearms to the floor parallel with each other. Flip your toes and bring your hips up towards the sky. Dolphin pose, here we go, inhale. Exhale, bend at the knees, look forward between the hands. Pour weight into your hands as you lift your forearms off the ground. Chaturanga. Good. Elbows back to the ground. Down dog. One, two, three. Bend knees. Chaturanga. Sink your elbows towards the floor again. Hips up. Chaturanga. Dolphin. Chaturanga. Dolphin. Chaturanga. Dolphin, chaturanga, and dolphin, and one more, you guys, chaturanga, dolphin, we did it. Walk your toes up, push into your hands to bring you into down dog, and walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold, front of the mat. <sighs> vertebrae by vertebrae, come on up, Tadasana. Bring your hands through the chest as you exhale. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Sweep your hands up towards the sky. Forward fold. Inhale halfway. Actually, you know what? While we're here, put your hands onto the floor, palms of the hands if you can. Lift your right leg into the hip socket and see if you can kick your right shin, and then put your right foot down. Now pour weight into your right foot and see if you can lift your left foot off the floor. And then kick, or get as close to kicking as you can. We're gonna do that a few more times. Suck up your leg into your socket of the right foot, pour weight into the fingertips, and then see if you can kick your right toes to your right arm, left side. Left leg into socket and then kick the left arm. We got it. One more each side. Right leg up, kick. Set it down. Left leg up, kick. Oh, set it down. How are those psoases feeling now? Hands to floor, jump, step, hop into your chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. <sighs> Great. Sweep your right leg up towards the sky. Bring the knee in towards the right tricep and then see if you can hook that knee on the outside of the right tricep and pull yourself into the midline. So you feel balanced even though we're kind of in this asymmetrical situation here. Sweep your right leg up towards the sky. Open up, wild thing. Right toes onto the ground behind your left leg. Open up here for a moment. Inhale. Good. Right knee back in towards chest. And then slowly pivot onto the ball of the back foot as slow as you can and then pull that right foot to the top of the mat. Here we go. Crescent pose. Sweep your arms up towards the sky. Good. 
take a moment here and just breathe. From this crescent, we're gonna open up into goddess towards the left side of the room. So pivot your back heel open. You can squeegee your feet to a distance that feels good, but heels are in, toes are out, sink your hips towards the floor. Lengthen the tailbone down. Try to draw your ribs towards your frontal hip, hip points. Hands can be in prayer at the chest. Sink your hips lower. Inhale. Sink them lower. Inhale. Sink them lower. Straighten through the legs. Parallel the feet. Stand tall through the spine. And then forward fold. Hands to the floor under your shoulders would be great. Take a moment to shake out your head. If this feels good to you today, I want you to stay here. If you'd like to try a little more compression work, come on to your hands. You can, I like to squeegee my feet in just a little bit here so they're a little closer together. Straighten the arms, come up onto the balls of the feet as much as you can, the tiptoes if you can, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour weight into our fingertips here. All the weight that you can as you come up even further onto the tiptoes of your feet. Okay, sink your heels down, let it go. Pivot your right toes towards the front of the mat. We're gonna come on into warrior three. So as slow as you can, make that transition, make it count. Lift up, standing into the right leg, parallel your back leg towards the mat. And just take a moment to breathe here in our warrior three. See if you can lift that back leg even a little bit more, power up. And then as slow as you can, lift the left leg towards the sky as you sink your chest closer to your right thigh. Hands to the floor. Just like we just did there in our forward fold, we're gonna come up onto the ball of this right foot and see if we can pour more weight into our fingertips. Good. See if we can pour so much weight into our fingertips and energize our top leg so much that you lift in to a handstand. Good. If you're there, make your way to Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. And left leg up towards the sky. Left knee in and hook it around the left tricep. Power up through the hands, push through the hands, push through them, dome the back if you can. And then sweep that left leg up, back and over into wild thing. This should feel good, a little reverse, a little opening after all this forward folding. Left knee into chest, and as slow as you can, pivot onto the back foot, and at the very last moment, bring your left toes to the front of the mat. Crescent pose. And just by the way, when you're learning to do that kind of stuff, when you're learning to slowly and with control, bring some, your foot to the front of the mat, um, it's sloppy and it's not controlled, but you have to try. 
before you can be controlled. Does that make sense? Like, you have to be willing to go through like the messy, uncontrolled part before your body can start to understand how to get there controlled. So it's a necessary part of the journey. Inhale. Open up into goddess. Adjust your feet however you need to. Heels in, toes out. Sink your booty down. You can have your hands on your legs and shimmy side to side if you'd like. Hmm. Or if you want a little more fire, bring your hands to your chest. If you want even a little more fire, reach up, up to the sky. <sighs> Sink your hips. <sighs> Lift up, parallel the feet, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, <sighs> exhale, lengthen down. We can have a tendency to sink back on our heels here. See if you can bring more weight into the balls of your feet. Put your hands under your shoulders if you're gonna come onto your toes with me. Adjust your feet as needed. Pour weight into your hands and your fingertips as you come up onto the balls or tiptoes of your feet. Here we go. And breathe. One, two, three. We want to five, four, five. Sink your hips down. This way, side to side if you would like. Release that. Pivot your left toes to the front of the mat. And as slowly as you can, come on up. Transition into warrior three. Lift up. See if you can lift that back leg even more. Almost like you're in a locust pose with your back body. <sighs> Proud, long chest. Head is pulling forward. Good. Now slow and with control, bring your chest towards your left thigh as you lift your right leg towards the sky. I have no space for my hands at the front of the mat, so I'm gonna walk it back a little bit. Hands onto the floor. You can practice coming up onto the balls of, the, of your left foot, reaching your right leg up and pouring weight into your hands. If you'd like, you could see if you can lift in two or come up as much as you can and then kick into handstand. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. One more time. Just like that, each side, but a little bit quicker. Sweep your right leg towards the sky. Knee hooks across the right tricep. Sweep it back up. Open on up into wild thing. <sighs> Take this as a break. If you could picture this as a break even. Okay, right knee into chest. Slow with control. Open up, crescent pose. <sighs> Reach your arms forward, or up, I'm sorry. Swivel into your goddess pose. Open up. This time, bend at the chest, or bend at the hips, and bring your chest parallel to the floor. Your feet still in goddess pose. Legs, goddess pose. Reach your hands forward. Sink your hips back if you need to. I got a wall in front of me. It's not very efficient. Good. Hands down to the floor. Parallel the feet. Fold. <sighs> Release. Hands under your shoulders. Pour weight into your fingertips and hands as you come onto the balls of your feet. Good. Feet down, point the right toes forward, warrior three. Creep forward, transition as slowly as you can. Lift into the right leg, parallel your back leg to the mat. 
Inhale. Exhale, fold over the front right leg. We're kind of perfectly prepared to try a puppy pose, which was the easiest way for me to learn how to handstand or press into a handstand when I did. So I'm gonna face this way and see if that's easier to see me like this. Hands to the floor, feet behind you. If you're still in that standing position we were at, all you're gonna do is you're still up on the ball of that right foot. You're gonna lift your left leg like this, like so, and like you're peeing on a bush or something, right? Pour weight into your hands and see if you can get your hips above your hands and lift that right foot up and out. Sometimes having that hip already kind of over that left hip with the lifted leg gives you a little bit more space. You can hike up your hips a little bit more over your shoulders and so it's a little bit easier to pull into that push into that pose okay if you're done with your puppy chaturanga up dog and down dog you can always pause me wherever you want if you wanted to play with that a little bit more go for it left leg lifts towards the sky hook the left knee over the left arm swing it back open up wild thing knee into chest left toes to the front of the mat crescent pose inhale exhale goddess here we go reach your hands in front of you like you're collecting a bunch of things right out towards the sides of the room and then collect them all to the center and we're just holding them we're just holding all the things here i don't know if they're good things to you or bad things to you if they're good things to you maybe you envision bringing them closer to your body they're in your grasp if they're bad things maybe you're envisioning releasing them into the ocean below your hands okay straighten the legs parallel the feet forward fold hands come under your shoulders pour weight into your hands come on to the balls of your feet sink your heels left toes forward pull into your warrior three good i think you'll be able to see from here okay if you're in your warrior three bring the right leg up towards the sky bring the chest closer to the left thigh hands on the floor obviously and bring that right leg in kind of like a chicken wing and then pour weight into your hands as you come up onto the ball of that left foot good and see if you can open up the left side is always trickier for me because oh. I'm a little lopsided as are most of us play with that a little bit more or if you're donezo come into chaturanga up dog and down dog jump to your hands lie on your back body feet we're coming into plow pose so feet go up over your head back <sighs> you probably will hear me panting here my mic is very close to my chest so sorry see if you can get your toes close to the ground behind your head <sighs> and breathe we are officially cooling down We've maxed out all that work. Vertebrae by vertebrae, see if you can 
come down slowly, letting your legs descend. <sighs> Feet to the floor. Oop. Roll on to your belly. And we're just gonna do a few oscillating cobras here. We've done a lot of forward folds. We're just gonna go the other way with our bodies so we can come back to center, right? Forehead to the floor, tent your fingertips on either side of your body and then push into them. Lift your chest, ground down through your pelvis. And then exhale, come on back down. Inhale. We come up, exhale, brings us down. Inhale, we lift up, exhale, we come down. One more time, inhale, come on up, exhale, we sink down. Roll back onto your back body and readjust yourself so you're on your mat. Last pose, you know how I like to end. Cross the right leg over the left, sink your knees to the left side of the room and gaze over your right arm. Close your eyes down. You can make those hoarse sounds too, if that's of interest to you, flutter your lips. Release. Cross the left leg over the right, hips draw over to the left, and then let your knees drop to the right, gaze over the left hand. Ideally, you're closing down your eyes here, letting yourself relax and come into stillness. Release. Come into your Shavasana pose, whatever feels good to you. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. <sighs> I am gonna let you guys go here to finish up your practice, however feels best for you, however long you need. You come out when you feel good and ready. Thank you for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you next time.